dime. So to me here. At this you want to pick up a fucking dime? What, I look like a bank to you, bitch? Uh, no. Not my coin collection? Uh, sorry, sorry, Herb. You said to be here this time. Is it here? Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Why'd you drop the fucking plate? Uh, Herb. Um. What's your name? Vinny, I think we met once before, uh, Ian introduced us, and, uh, he was saying, uh, so, Ian! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. He's the, he's that guy who ends up with that cute Ned fella, right? Uh, yeah, I yeah. Like, uh, but Ned, like, Ned's got skin like porcelain, I can tell you that much. Yeah, sweet. I'm just, uh, so I was just coming to pick up a dime, I was texting you about, like, an hour ago, he said, why do you keep, why do you keep saying dime, man? Or well, just a just a, uh, a gram, you know, of of, of uh, weed, Kush, you know. <laughs> yeah, you know what? You know what? I might just have something for you. Ooh, awesome, yeah. So yeah, what's is, that? What's this is what it is, eh? You know what this is called? This is. You don't know what this is, dude. What kind of it? This is Danny DeVito penguin shit. OG sour, OG Danny. Yeah, dude, it's laced in HPV, man. Straight, straight fucking. It, it'll re, it'll realign your Gore-Tex, uh, your solar plexus. You know, the part, the part of your face right here. That, that's that's like made that 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 major has a major influence on your uh your at your astral. Yeah. What are, what are you talking about? I'm talking about the fucking. They didn't even know. You don't, it's just stuff that's way above your head now. I'll just stuff you, you, you want to take it? You want to take it? I'll, 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 I'll take it, dude. Did you um, come here with anybody, man? No, man. What I got, I got money, money stuff? dude. I got money. You see how clean my floor is? I keep this shit clean. I'm man. looking for money, dude. I'm not touching that, man. I'm not touching your cum rags. Get that shit off my goddamn floor. Pick that up, man. What is that? What is that? God damn it, man. Oh, I, I just, I'm looking. You just to wanted, you wanted to get the weed, I right? Want to <laughs> then why are you starting shit, though? Why are you starting shit? <laughs> Dropping gum on my fucking floor, pal. I'm not starting shit, dude. I just want to get some. I just like being this close. I'm not. You just, no, I'm just saying, like, I, like, I, I mean, like, I'm I, not, like, I'm not trying to front. I'm not trying to fucking freak you out, bro. I just want to say, like, all right, all right. intimacy, like, between people should just be closer. Yeah. I mean, I know, this man. is, this is, this is what it is. Yo, but intimacy. Also, like, I'm all it about, be, like, it could be more than what it hanging. is. I'm all about vibes. Getting close, pals. I just want to buy some of this sticky chronic. I just want some of this sticky, goopy, it's sticky. green do it, do it, shit. Do it, do it, do it. Smell it, dude. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, man, dude. Oh, so listen, I think I've been thinking for a while. Yeah. You're a smart kid. You're yeah. cool. You're hip. But the, well, yeah. 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 You know, Pretty hip. Yeah. Yeah, you're hip with the kids. Pretty hip with the kids and stuff. Yeah, you're like fucking live and day fair spew. I'm like, yeah. There's really, you know, breakfast. How about you, uh, bring me some business, eh? What do you mean, some business, dude? As long as you send me these sweet nugs, I'll get you. I'll, I'll bring all the fucking kids. I'll get all the kids on the block, dude. I swear, so bro. Where's my money, man? Bro, I'll get, <laughs> I'll get it to you, bro. <laughs> I'll get it to you, dude. I'm just looking to get a little, a little dime. Front, you just brought me a little dime. Yeah, yeah you, you got you got gorgeous hair, you know that? Yeah, really, really soft skin too. Leg, dude.
summer. Yeah, this encourages you to have fun during these hot months, doing what kids do, no matter how old you are, perhaps if you're a parent doing it with your kids. But what does a no bummer summer mean to you? What's a no bummer summer? How's your no bummer summer going? So far? Yeah. Really good. Is it no bummer? No bummers at all. Yes. Any bad days yet? Nope, all good days. No, no bad, bad days. days. So what's a no bummer summer mean to you? No bummer summer? Yeah. There's a lot of bitches in the shit outside. <laughs> Hell yeah. The drugs are good in the summer. You know, the weather's nice, so there's a lot of bitches and stuff at the beach and shit. And like, if you drive them around and stuff, and you're like, yo, you want to smoke a joint? They're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you pick them up in like that matte black BMW, yeah. and then you skirt off. And that's like my summer plans, bro. A no bummer summer means that I have a kick-ass time. Yeah. Um, like, hey, man. Pizza. What? I wish, man. Like, I just ate so much. No? Food. Okay. No, yeah. dude, I'm, I'm filming <laughs> yeah. something right now. Yeah, These guys. <laughs> All right. All right, cool. Yeah, no bummer summer means I have kick-ass time. Go camping. Hang out with my girlfriend. Fuck yeah. Yo, Keith, you wanna... You ever try one of these? You ever try one of these revs? Uh, no. No? Do you wanna hit? Holy shit, boy! Whoa! That's some good shit! Woo! Can I have another hit, man? Yeah, yeah. Oh my god! That's that god. rev mentality, rev mentality! Woo! Woo! YYJ! <laughs> Woo! What's up, boys? Hey, guys, what's up? Why are you guys so far away? I feel like... It's just weird. Like yeah, I feel yeah. like nobody wants to be around me right now. Like there's just something wrong with me or something. Yeah. You know? All I'm trying to do is get from one place to the next. And my I'm with two good friends. Neither of them wanted <laughs> want to walk next to me. Like what the fuck, dude? Like I just all all I want is a little bit of connection, right? And like, see, there you go. Go <laughs> through closer. Uh, come on, come closer. Okay. Eat that shit again. All right. Don't Zach, eat what? Bitch. Wait, you mean like don't eat this? A, like a double. What a chance ever, bro. Here. Cop a piece of gum. No, just for here. after, but just in case you meet some bitches or something. Alright. Yeah, no, 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 no. That's how it's called closer. Sometimes I sit in my home for like hours and vibe out and just like let my inner creativity like flow through my veins, you know? Yeah, hell yeah. That really like extraterrestrial like spiritual shit. Back down. That's what I mean. There's yeah. something really just genuinely strange about carrying around a camera like that. <laughs> Again, you do not have permission to film in this house, being the acting homeowner. You do not have permission to film here. You, you, you had one yeah. fucking bite. I had two pieces of pizza. You had two pieces of pizza. You ate them all. Made a big. Fucking you have mess. not had two pieces of pizza. I had two bites. I did nothing wrong here, right? I don't like that. I hate that. Like what that. the? Hey, what's this ranch? I've never, I've never told anyone well, about this, but like, I had this friend in elementary school who like, was actually a superhero. Well, here's the thing, and actually, I saw him fly. In grade three, what? I had my best friend actually, one day he, we were hanging out a lot, it was near the end of the year, we had a really good friendship. Um, I was at his house, his parents were away, which was like pretty sick, we got to play games all day. Yeah. And, um, and he's like, hey man, I need to show you something. I've, uh, I've been keeping, I really haven't even told my parents, you're the only one to know. And we go to his backyard, this like late at night, and he's like, all right, okay, stand back. And then so we're, I, I pull up my flashlight, and I'm like, dude, what is this guy going to do? He says, yo, take like, a step back. And then he fucking flies into the fucking thin air. He's flying. <laughs> he's real life levitating. God damn. Flying. Like, su like something out of a comic no, book. No, that's fuck bullshit. Like, that's like, 
That can't be true, super, dude. Like Superman. No, 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 no. That's bullshit. Bullshit. That's bullshit. No, and Assassin. here's here's the worst part. <clears throat> he can shoot laser eyes. Oh fuck off! Oh, oh, you know, uh, come. Oh. oh fuck! Let me try one more time. Fuck! How did you do that? <laughs> <laughs> fuck you! you no it. bummer summer. Yeah. Fucking. You you think? How the fuck? Just like, how, how the fuck? Like, I mean, somebody's got to do it. Probably drink that cat. I don't want to shotgun beer. Somebody's got to do it. Somebody's got to do it. So I mean, if somebody's got to do it, I got to do it. Bring it down a little more musical. You're given this. You're given these rules that you're existing within, and jazz, in a lot of ways, at least when you're thinking about the whole thing and the whole expanse of jazz and what's happened i mean what it's it, a lot of it like a, a big part of it has been trying to fit like what can you do in between this space beginning and end of let's say like i mean if we're sticking to the solo the concept of the solo what can you do within these set parameters that are finite that is is expressing yourself or or whatever or you know liberating you what it, what is how can you talk how can you speak out of the box when you're inside of it that's like maybe that's i guess you could say that that's that's kind of the essence of jazz maybe maybe that's one way you could think about it Man, I, I just, I just took two pup pups off of this orthodontic Charlie Brown that I just smoked. Dude, fuck yeah. Charlie Brown mixed with a little, I, I sprinkled a little bit of Linus on there, you know, a little bit of that, a mm, little bit yeah, of that yeah. blue, a little mm, bit of that yeah. blue, uh, oh, yeah. Little yeah. towel that he always Spring carries around, you know what I'm saying? Yo, ask towel. me how my bummer summer's going. How's your yeah. no bummer summer going? <laughs> dude, don't ask, dude. <laughs> <laughs> We're fucking on, dude. dude I'm, I'm on. Fuck you, I only dude. fuck on. You, you, you want to find my button, buddy? I only fuck yeah, on. You know that. Press my off button. You ain't gonna find it, chum. The only way you'll find it is right here. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh. That's right. It. That's it. That's it right that's there, chill, buddy. Oh Jesus Christ. Oh. What the Jesus fuck? Christ. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. I need Dude, are you okay, bro? No, he's good. No, he does fucking great. Dude, he does this all the time, dude. Don't be a pussy. Want to go back and do another lap or something? <laughs> I think so. Let's do another lap, baby. No, no, let's go through there. Yeah, yeah. All right. We're getting there all day. Why would you leave when you're having fun? You know. Oh, those guys are swimming. That's a good time. Yo, that's a good day. YYJ, baby. Every day is a good day. We got revved up, my friends. Yeah. He needs everyone to sing along. Not you. No, no, no. I can sing. Say all the keys. Oh, what did you do? It's really, dancing's not really my thing. Like, I don't, it's only something I do really occasionally. Like, not only when I...
you. Go. You found a pack? Yeah. yeah. There's, There's a pack on the ground. They're, they're just number right. seven. Number seven? Where's that? Lucky number uh, seven. It looks like you got run over by a car. <laughs> but it's a pack of cigarettes. <laughs> they taste good. good. They taste what kind good. Are they? Number seven. I don't, I don't like that. Did that. They taste really way. fucking good. They taste really. We that pack that got really run over good. by a car. They I think taste it actually so tastes good. better because it got. It got run actually. This one's so sweet. Well, we got Avril. We got Avril. What are these things? <laughs> what are these things? Oh my God! It's your birthday. Friday, I'm in love. What does the November summer mean to you? I honestly don't know. What does November summer mean to you? It means good vibes only, no bad days. Yeah, what she said. She's got it. Uh, a November summer is a summer on, on Savory Island, the best the best place in the world. What's a no bummer summer what are we mean? Gonna do? We're gonna like spread out and come back. Oh shit! Lots of swimming. What are your aspirations? Yeah. Greatest band of all time, man. Um, <laughs> my favorite Beatles song is in my life. Oh yeah, yeah. But let's have this on the record. I do okay, not yeah, consent to hear any Beatles music myself. All right. I have a political <laughs> career in front of me. Okay. <laughs> oh god. Vinny. When uh, this gets shut down because people drove up here because they're fucking idiots, we're gonna go down the hill, then we're just gonna come back because we wanna fucking party. It's no bummer summer. Use of different melodic and amelodic scales in repeated patterns to create sounds that mold together to create music. But sometimes people don't think it's music because it's too much for their brains to comprehend. I love that. Basically, jazz is an expression of uh, humanity. Uh, it takes different forms because it expresses different emotions and different points of view in the human experience. Um, the sometimes chaotic nature of jazz lends itself to the chaotic nature of human emotion and the way that humans experience uh, life, the way that we perceive life. Um, sometimes jazz comments on social interactions and the chaotic nature of social interactions and the emotions that are present within. And basically jazz is beautiful. I love jazz and I love you too. So the best part about things like this is, you know, sometimes life gives you lemons and sometimes life gives you a massage. And when it does, you gotta take that. And in fact, I might even just uh, turn up the heat on this one because uh, I can. No bummer summer means, means you. Nothing. No bummer means summer is no bad days. Yeah. It means every day is a good day. That's you very literal. I don't know. Just, just your own definition. There's no wrong answer. What would you do? What would your dreams be to make it a no bummer summer? Don't be okay, here. Buy a, buy a million dollars. <laughs> buy a million dollars. Um, water bottles filled with vodka and XXX vitamin water bottles filled with wine. XXX! 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 Sleeping all day. Very good answer. I'm trying to get into jazz. I think I'm getting the hang of it. It's tough shit though. A couple weeks. I'm not done with you! I'm not done with you! Dude, it's not worth it. It's not worth it, dude. Fuck, dude. Stop messing around. Dude, come on, let's go. It's not worth it, dude. He's not worth it, dude. I'll fucking break your window. Holy fuck! I'm breaking. Ty, he's not worth it. Relax. Breaking it. Yo, yo, yo. He's not worth it. That's not worth it. You see this? You see this? Yeah. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. This fucking guy just got blood over my fucking window. Y'all get blood right in your fucking pussy, dude. We're at Fern Fest. We're having a great time. We got all of our friends here tonight. What is Kate? Okay, no, no. Here's a question. So, summer to me is about is about having a good time. Summer is about you know being uncomfortable.
comfortable and feeling comfortable being uncomfortable. Summer is about experiencing the new. You're like the new growth of this plant that has previously burned down in a forest fire. You're experiencing everything for the first time as if you're a child again. They say that there's a first time for everything and I truly believe that. And there's a first time, there's a first time for everybody. I love these people. My first time meeting them, I love them. They're my boys, they're my girls. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, how you doing, bro? How you doing? Hey, 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 hey. Chris. Because for me, it's like a meditation as soon as I wake up. It's like, I wake up and like, you know when you're, you're asleep and you open your eyes but you don't move and you're just a statue and you wake up and you're like, Ugh. and like you sit there and you pause and you think and you go, you have that opportunity right there to say, I'm sad or I'm, I'm happy. It's like a split second decision where you go and I wake up every day and I make myself say, today is going to be a good day. And that's what it's all about. I'm having a no bummer summer. I popped a, about a bar and a half of Xanax, and this is this is my um, my eighth beer. That's it. My eighth beer, and uh, I also took uh, a 30 milligram Adderall, which is the highest dose. Um, about two hours ago, I believe it's about oh I believe it's about 11 p.m. And, I feel like I could run the uh, Federal, Federal Reserve without um, confiscating any sort of uh, produce. Oh, no more summer means going to a fucking metal show, you know, there's like pretty like, you know, like it's a pretty harsh environment, you know, you listen to like all this crazy metal music and just like I'm out back drinking beer, you know, and amongst all the fucking madness, I'm just like I'm having a good time, you know, I'm just just pulling some positive fucking shit out of like all these fucking people around me. I'm just having a good time, you know. It is what it is. You gotta fucking look at this guy. What the fuck? Who is this guy? See this? What the How do you fuck? get that, man? Don't even ask. Don't ask. Oh. See, you know, that's what it's all about. No bummer summer. That guy's not having yeah. a fucking bummer okay. time at all. That guy's bleeding that guy's out of his forehead. Face. No bummer at all. What the fuck summer? What's the first thing you think? What's the first YYJ. time? Hashtag YYJ. YYJ is the that's first thing I think about. of. I think this speaks more than anything. This silence right here. What no bummer summer is about? It's about relationships. It's about sharing a moment with each other. It's about respect. It's about mutual respect. It's about respect for the person you don't even know. <laughs> It's about blowing smoke into each other's faces. It's about flipping each other off. It's a no bummer summer. Take five. Played that at a jam a couple weeks ago. Chuck Ben Joni, Count Basie, with the Mills Brothers. Most people don't know the Mills Brothers, but they were um, they were famous in their time. John Luke Ponty, Grover Washington, Marcellus, Ray Charles. George Benson, Matt King Cole, Lionel Hampton. Then there's Weather Report. That's another story, too. Mm -hmm. You familiar with Jocko Pistorius? Yeah. You know his story? Yeah. This, was a, this was a terrific album. This has got some nice artwork on it. 
I really like that. I like that picture. He almost, Jocko almost looks like a mannequin. <laughs> he looks a little pale. <laughs> this was in the 70s when they were, they were the fusion band in the 70s. This was it. This was the cream of the crop in the 70s. When fusion was just sort of coming on. And, you know, I mean, I don't know, there's a lot, there's more that could ever, there's more to be, there's so much to be said about it, it's hard to really just start from scratch and try to really get to a decent conclusion, but... Say rules are meant to be broken. This is a millennial who uh, lives on their own. And has gone to school now. Was school worth it? I've only been in college for one year. And is it worth it? Is it going well? You think yeah. you'll get a big job? I'm gonna get a big job. Hell yeah. Now you gotta go to school one more year. What's up with that? I have to go three more years. So you gotta go to school three more years. And is and that's gonna get you psychology? No. Where you, how you, what are you doing for Theater. Theater. Theater, hell yeah. Theater kids never give up. Four years of school and you'll be making it. You'll be on the big screen like Leonardo DiCaprio. You know what I'm saying? Tom Cruise. Childish Gambino. A, a visionary. A revolutionary. Revolutionist. He's changing the game. He's changing hip-hop for life. Now who else do we got who's changing hip-hop? We got Mr. Senior. Mr. Fetty Wap here. Look at that guy smoking a big old fatty blunt. Hell yeah. That's how you know. That's how you know. Someone's got a creative thinking mind, you know, someone's got a creative, creative brain when they're smoking the, puffing the herb. What constitutes a no bummer summer? Like, I don't know. Not working. Not working. So you're not working over the summer? I am working. You have to work over the summer yeah. to pay for the spacious living area, which is quite the, you know, quite the place. I mean, I'm looking for a place. If I could look, find a place like this, you know, I tell the neighbors, I tell the neighbors, fuck off. I'm going to be playing shows. I'm going to be throwing parties, doing everything I want down here. You get kicked out so fast. Is that what happens? Yes, that's okay, what so, happens. So apparently, I just found out that you get kicked out of your place if you're throwing parties and shit. So, well, can you give a tip as how to not get evicted? Yeah, don't throw parties or shows. That's quite the tip. Hi, how's it going? Good, how are you? All right. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm What's Vinnie? your name? Vinny. Vinny. What's your name? Can I Melanie. film you for an interview? <laughs> All, right. All right. So what uh, does a no bummer summer mean to you? A, a no bummer summer? Yeah, like just having no bad days, having a fun time, blast, Fetty Wap, smoking J's on the beach, puffing herb, drinking beer. I mean, objectively, I'm boring. Okay. Um, what's my ideal summer? Let's see. I had one a couple years ago. I'm trying to think back to that. Like going to shows, we were talking about that. Concerts are good. Yeah. Concerts are good. Good, good number of concerts. Hell yeah. Um, but otherwise, no late nights. No late nights? I'm a sleeper. Alright, so just get in here. No. And we'll go. So get in here. Get in and we'll go, uh, so. No bummer summer. No bummer summer. Yeah, they sing along. No bummer summer.
you know, this is going to be, this is my, my summer, I'm going, getting out of high school here, mm -hmm. you know, and I'm going to, I'm going to make it in this world, I'm going to try, you know, I'm not going to go to school, I'm going to just live the starving artist life, like everyone wants to, you know, everyone needs to live that starving artist life, and if you're really going to make it in this world, you got to starve, because, can I, can I do an example here? When you're a student, you need to conserve money, you know? You gotta conserve as much cash dollar as you can, you know what I'm saying? So if you're not, you know, if you're not, you know, eating ramen, peanut butter toast, there's something wrong with your, your, uh, the, the, the way you're, you're spending money. You're spending it on stuff. You're spending it on, you know, you're spending it on toys, fidget spinners, uh, you know, fucking bunch of shoes. Look at all these shoes. No, nothing wrong with a good pair of shoes. You know, you gotta, you gotta make sure your feet don't hurt. We got cereal, we got a banana, we got more bananas, fucking candles, and of course, what's a millennial, <clears throat> what's a millennial living in this world? Well, some omega-3 fish oils, because that's how you maintain a, a healthy diet. Until next time, no bummer summer. And I'll see you all on the other side. Peace, love, YYJ, no bummer summer. <laughs> that scene just wasn't for me. Just wasn't for me, you know? Meeting people on Tinder nowadays, you know, we got we got the Tinder, 2017. We got Tinder. It's just not for me. But uh, you know, that's besides the point. I think they're doing their everything right. They're um, you know, they're just making their their way in the, through this world, you know. One uh, year of theater school at a time for four years. All I'm saying is if you're gonna ask a guy how he feels about the summer, the least you can know is that you shouldn't ask. You shouldn't fucking ask. Don't fucking ask.